wait, before I leave, what did you tell me? Well, number one... What did you tell me? I don't think you can break my record. Uh-huh. I was cruising on that and I didn't talk much. What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today I'm on a very quick road trip just north of Milwaukee, Wisconsin to a place called Frankie's Pub and Grill in Sheboygan where I am going to be taking on a big old five and a half pound burger challenge. Now I am all by me onesie again today because Randy already absolutely dominated this challenge while I was on my road trip doing the pizza eating contest in Virginia. So I originally was planning on going and doing this burger challenge and kind of leisurely taking my time because Randy did smash, made a huge record, went under nine minutes to finish this burger challenge. So as I am preparing to head out the door, I quickly told Randy, great job on the time. I really don't plan on beating your record. He replied, I really wouldn't expect you to. <sighs> to which I say challenge accepted. So this is going to be an absolutely beast mode speed burger eating challenge. I will catch you guys at Frankie's when the burger arrives. So the massive Frankie's Burger Challenge has arrived here in front of me. I am going to have only 45 minutes to finish this behemoth of a burger. But again, I kind of plan on destroying Randy's soul if I can and crushing his nine minute and 35 second time limit. Now, if possible, like the goal of course is to beat his, his record. But if I'm not able to do that, my goal is under 12 minutes and then I will reward myself with, they have turtle cheesecake here from their sister restaurant over at Chef. So the goal is under 12 minutes, I'll reward myself with some cheesecake. But if I finish slower than that, then I'll probably eat my feelings and have cheesecake anyway. Who am I kidding? If I'm successful at finishing this giant burger in the actually 45 minute time limit, I will get the $50 meal for free. I will get a $20 gift certificate and I will get my name and photo up on their wall of fame. So without any further delay, let's get this challenge started. Woo! Nobody's day drinking here, luckily. Yeah. <laughs> they have some really good cocktails on the menu, but your girl's on a diet and I gotta drive. All right, this is definitely going to be a situation where I just shut up and eat. So, um, using Randy's terms there, but boo thing, you're going down. One, two, three, let's destroy some records. All right. Ooh. Mm. What is up, Kilo Crew? And welcome to a challenge that I probably should have been wearing one of my Vegeta t-shirts for. This was absolutely a matter of pride and a matter of ego. And uh, I think it was a pretty good double entendre for me definitely thinking that, hmm, this was bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> but no, this was absolutely delicious. I wanted to go in and try and do my best to eat this very, very quickly, so I meant nothing but business as I dug into this multiple layered giant burger. Okay. So a bit more about this challenge. The burger is comprised of four one pound burger patties, 12 slices of cheese, 16 slices of bacon, a whole bunch of healthy veggies, and then obviously three giant buns. And then I also added mushrooms to the burger to sort of copycat Randy, cause that's what he did when he came in. Oh, mm, thank you. That's chewy bacon. The bacon was certainly the dark horse of this challenge. It had a lot of chew to it. It definitely wasn't the kind of bacon that's a little bit floppy or even the crispy kind that melts in your mouth. Just lots and lots of chew to it, which I believe is a sign of good quality. I have no idea, but it was tough. <laughs> and I'm sure many of you in the comments guessed that right from the beginning. This burger was absolutely massive, and I don't know. Like I said, I think my inner ego had me thinking that, yeah, I can definitely do this, but there, there's just no way. This thing was massive, but yeah, reality set in. I knew I wasn't going to get it, so I definitely put my foot on the brakes a little bit here. All right, it's clear to me that I won't beat Randy's record, so great job, Randy, but maybe still the sub-12. Either way, cheesecake's happening. 
<laughs> at least one person thought I was funny, but you guys know that cheesecake was happening one way or another. But yeah, I kept going for it a little bit quickly here. Uh, you can see that I had a couple of patties left, lots of healthy veggies, and all of those mushrooms I decided to add as well, just adding insult to injury for the speed I was going. All right, 12 minutes is gonna come and go as well, so I'm just gonna enjoy it from here on out. The bottom patty, is just smothered in like a sauteed like mushroom gravy sauce, which looks delightful. I'm gonna add some bacon to it, which you can't go wrong with bacon and pickles. This is so amazing. The buns are chef's kiss. Yes, and fun fact, this is their standard size burger bun. So if you come in to Frankie's and order a burger, this is the size that you're getting. Sorry, this is probably frightening looking yeah. at it. <laughs> yeah, I felt kind of bad when I first rolled into the restaurant right when they opened. There was just a couple of people in there, including one of my buddies, but then the lunch rush happened and people came in looking a little bit uh, shocked, to say the least. Come on, you got this. Time for a giant mushroom taco. This thing is hefty. It probably wasn't the smartest move to add mushrooms to an already very heavy challenge, but whatever. Yellow. Mm -hmm. To be honest, the mushrooms were actually worth the extra time and the extra weight. They were so yummy. They were kind of sauteed in their own little gravy sauce that was very delightful. It was delicious. I'm kind of mad I rushed through the beginning now. Now that I'm not going to get the record anyway. You need a good burger in your life? Come to Shibuya. It's true. I wish I would have gone a little bit slower and enjoyed myself during the initial stages of the burger. It was the perfect temperature, the perfect consistency, tasted great, and uh, yeah, I'm a little salty that I felt challenged to uh, eat this quickly. I would help. I have no idea how we did 9:35 on this. This is a big burger. I claim foul play. Foul play. <laughs> Somebody did me dirty, I think. I don't know. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing. Everyone knows that Randy is super quick at eating, especially on burger challenges, and that I tend to slack on burger challenges. So it's really no surprise here that I went a little bit slower. So mad props to the boo thing. Mushrooms weren't the best idea. That's a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> they want to keep their $20 gift card. <laughs> Woo, excuse me. I'm so sorry. But not sorry. Better out than in. <laughs> yeah, at least everyone there was good sports about my uh, my belching and my unladylike manners. But no, I was totally teasing about the gift card thing. They did add a lot more mushrooms than I was expecting, and I kind of expected the mushrooms to be all throughout the burger and not just on the bottom bun. But as I mentioned before, they were absolutely delicious, and I really enjoyed the little bun mushroom taco thing at the end. Final bits of bun, and then it's just the drippings. Cheers. Why do I always call them the drippins? It doesn't sound very good, but they are the tastiest part usually of the challenge. Did you watch his video? Mm -mm. Yeah. I ain't gonna watch no Randy video. I don't care. But no, I didn't watch this one. He has the jaws of a great white shark. That's what the technique is. Yeah. <sighs> There's a lot of mushrooms. Beard Meats food would be very grossed out right now. Meanwhile, I love mushrooms. Here we go. This ain't cute, I'm sorry as if it was cute at any point leading up to this moment. But on that note, I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. A couple more ladylike bites until victory. All right, cheers to the final bite. Mm. <laughs> well, Kilo Crew, it was certainly no record, but 22 minutes and 53 seconds was my final time to finish Frankie's Burger Challenge here. Absolutely delicious, five and a half pounds of burger with probably a good extra pound of mushrooms added to it. So wasn't my smartest move ever, but it was a very delicious move. And now, as promised, I'm going to eat my feelings and order a piece of turtle cheesecake. So regardless, I do get this $50 burger for free, a $20 gift card to use here later, and a spot up on the wall of fame next to Ma Boo Fang, who I will have to go home and kiss his toes because he is the greatest of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out, bye. all of you who just came in to enjoy lunch and had to watch that mess. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Josh. It's dessert time. This is what I'm talking about. Turtle cheesecake.
good. That was pretty good. It was worth it, right? I am eating my feelings. I'm a winner in my own eyes. Um, no. Okay.